Generative Agents, Interactive Simulacra of Human Behavior The article discusses an innovative technology in the field of artificial intelligence, generative agents capable of mimicking human behavior in a believable manner. They can emulate day-to-day -day activities like preparing meals or tackle more difficult tasks such as composing literature or creating art. They can also exhibit social interactions such as expressing viewpoints, starting chats, and storing and remembering and reflecting on experiences. What makes these digital entities unique is their design, which merges a high-capacity language model with the capability to synchronize and process their interactions into thoughtful deliberations articulated in human-like language. This enables them to recall events, consider them, and utilize this data to predict future actions. The researchers have embedded these entities into a flexible simulation similar to the game The Sims. This sandbox environment allows users to communicate with a community of 25 entities in human-like language. In various trials, the entities exhibited credible personal and collaborative behaviors. For instance, when an entity was programmed to want to host a Valentine's Day celebration, the entities autonomously sent invitations, established contacts with each other, proposed dates to each other, and synchronized their arrival to the celebration. A crucial insight from the research is that each of the three principal elements of the entity's construction, witnessing, capturing past events, pondering, processing memories into thoughts, and strategizing, utilizing these thoughts to strategize future actions, is essential for creating credible actions. This pioneering blend of high-capacity language models and interactive entities paves the way for new patterns in the construction and interaction of simulations of human behavior. The simulation was called Smallville and reminded a tiny town with objects, houses, cafe, park, etc., Smallville hosts 25 unique digital agents, each having a sprite avatar and a brief backstory, which includes their job and relationships, acting as their foundational memories. The digital characters in Smallville perform actions and talk in human-like language. Every action they perform is described in text, then converted into movements in the virtual world and displayed as emojis in a speech bubble above their avatar. The system's language model handles the conversion of actions into emojis. A person using this simulation, user, has control over it and can interfere with the agent's actions, introducing him slash herself as some other agent, for example, news reporter. User can communicate directly with the agent in conversation or give instructions to an agent. User can also become an inner voice of the agent and can direct agent's actions. Each living space in Smallville is equipped with essential items such as beds, desks, and a kitchen. Agents move around these spaces, interact with each other, and their movements are influenced by the simulation engine. Users can also join Smallville as an agent and are treated just like any other character in the world. Agents and users can change the state of objects in Smallville, similar to games like The Sims. For example, a bed can be occupied or a fridge emptied. The user can also alter an agent's environment by adjusting the status of the objects around them, which the agent will respond to in a believable way. The agents organize their day from a one-paragraph instruction, and as time flows, their actions change. This happens due to the characters interacting with one another and their environment, forming memories and bonds, and arranging shared tasks. To illustrate, let's look at a day in the life of an AI character named John Lynn. In the Lynn family, John is an early bird, starting his day at 7 a.m., his morning routine includes personal hygiene tasks, having a meal, and catching up with the news in their shared space. An hour later, another character, Eddie, shakes off sleep to get ready for his educational activities. He crosses paths with John just when the latter is about to leave the house, leading to a casual conversation about Eddie's ongoing music project. Shortly after Eddie leaves, May, another character, wakes up and chats with John. Inquiring about her son, May finds out from John about Eddie's musical endeavor. After their chat, they both get ready for their respective tasks. May dives into her teaching role and academic writing, while John starts his day at the Willow Market and Pharmacy, 
where he runs a drugstore, all by 9 a.m. Information diffusion. As agents interact, they can talk, enabling the spread of information. For example, Sam tells Tom at the supermarket about his mayoral campaign. Later, Tom and John, who also heard about Sam's run, discuss his winning prospects. Over time, Sam's candidacy becomes a hot topic among the AI characters, with some backing him and others still undecided. Relationship memory. The agents in Smallville develop relationships and recall their interactions. For instance, Sam, who initially doesn't know LaToya, meets her in a park where she tells him about her photography project. In a subsequent encounter, Sam remembers this and asks about her project, showing that the characters remember their interactions. Coordination. AI characters can collaborate. Isabella Rodriguez, who plans a Valentine's Day party at Hobbs Cafe. With just this initial instruction, she invites friends and patrons, and even decorates the cafe. A close friend, Maria, helps with the preparations, and having a secret crush on Klaus, invites him to the party, which he happily attends. On the day, Klaus, Maria, and three other characters join the party at the appointed time. In this case, the only instruction given was Isabella's original intent to host the party. Generative agents interact with others and adapt to changes in an unrestricted environment. These agents use a unique architecture that pairs an advanced language model, ChatGPT 3.5, with mechanisms for extracting and synthesizing relevant information. They generate a memory stream, a comprehensive database of an agent's experiences, which aids in planning actions and reacting appropriately to the environment. The challenge is managing the abundance of events and memories these agents generate and ensuring that the most relevant memories are accessed when needed. Generative agents need to make sense of a vast set of experiences larger than what can fit in a prompt. Simply summarizing all of an agent's experiences can lead to generic responses. Instead, a more effective approach is to use a memory stream that highlights relevant experiences, producing more specific and informative responses. The memory stream is a comprehensive record of an agent's experiences. Each memory object contains a natural language description, a creation timestamp, and a recent access timestamp. The core element of the memory stream is an observation, an event an agent perceives. For example, a coffee shop worker, Isabella Rodriguez, might accumulate these observations. Setting out pastries. Maria Lopez studying for a test while drinking coffee. Conversation about planning a Valentine's Day party. An empty refrigerator. The study uses a retrieval method to pull from the agent's memory based on their current situation. It ranks memories by recency, prioritizing recent memories, importance, ranking the impact of events, relevance, assessing the connection to the current situation. The system combines these factors to score memories, selecting the top-ranked ones for the language model's use. Reflection is another critical aspect of generative agent architecture. Agents with only raw memory can't make nuanced decisions. For instance, an agent may choose a person for interaction based on the frequency of encounters, not the quality or significance of these encounters. The study designers developed a reflection memory. These are abstract thoughts the agent generates, providing more depth and understanding to its decisions. Reflections are produced periodically and triggered by certain thresholds. The agent uses recent experiences to formulate salient questions. For instance, what topic is the agent passionate about? These questions guide memory retrieval, and the agent generates insights, citing specific memory records. So, instead of just recalling encounters, the agent reflects on them, leading to more nuanced decisions and behavior. Agents need to maintain coherent behavior over time and not just respond plausibly to immediate situations. Without planning, an agent may repeat actions unnecessarily, sacrificing believability. The scientists introduced a planning mechanism. Plans outline the agent's future actions, helping maintain consistent behavior. Each plan includes a location, start time, and duration. The agents can alter their plans if necessary. The plans are stored in the memory stream, allowing the agent to consider observations, reflections, and plans together when deciding how to behave. 
Process. Plans begin broadly and are then broken down into more detail. The first step is creating a broad daily plan. The agent then divides this into hour-long chunks and further decomposes these into five, 15-minute tasks. The granularity can be adjusted as needed. Reacting and updating plans. Agents operate in an action loop. They perceive the world, store these observations in the memory stream, and decide whether to stick to their existing plan or react based on these observations. The reaction prompts a regeneration of the agent's plan from the point of the reaction. If the action involves an interaction between agents, a dialogue is generated. Dialogue. Agents converse based on their memories about each other. We generate agents' dialogue by conditioning their utterances on these memories, creating natural interactions between the agents. The dialogue continues until one agent decides to end the conversation. The Smallville Sandbox game environment, built using the Phaser Web Game Development Framework, integrates a server to share sandbox information with generative agents, enabling them to interact with and affect the environment. The server manages a JSON data structure that stores details about each agent's current action, location, and the objects they're interacting with in the sandbox world. It parses the JSON for changes from the agents, updates the environment accordingly, and sends relevant observations to the agent's memory for appropriate reactions. End users can initialize a new agent with a simple natural language description. This is divided into a set of initial memories that guide the agent's behavior. As the agents gain more experience and their memory stream grows, their behavior evolves. The agent architecture operates in natural language, so there's a need to ground the agent's reasoning in the sandbox world. This is achieved by converting the sandbox environment into a tree data structure and translating it into natural language. Agents build individual tree representations of the environment as they navigate the world, and their environmental knowledge is updated accordingly. To find the right location for each action, the agent's stored environment tree is flattened into natural language to prompt the model. The result is a location indicated by a leaf node in the agent's environment tree, and traditional game path algorithms animate the agent's movement to this location. When an agent acts on an object, the language model is prompted to determine the resulting state of the object. For instance, if an agent action is making espresso for a customer, the language model would indicate that the state of the coffee machine should change from off to brewing coffee. The evaluation of generative agents in Smallville involves a two-stage process, an individual assessment of agent responses, and an end-to-end -end analysis of the agent community. The focus is on whether agents can appropriately retrieve past experiences, generate plans, react to events, and reflect on their performance. This is measured by conducting interviews with the agents, with questions designed to probe their capabilities in these areas. Believability of behavior is a key measure of success. The interviews comprise five question categories, self-knowledge, memory, plans, reactions, and reflections. Evaluation was conducted after two simulated game days to give agents enough experience to shape their responses. Human evaluators, recruited to watch replays of an agent's life in Smallville, ranked the believability of responses from different agent architectures and a human author condition for the same agent. Conditions included three ablated architectures that limited agents' access to certain types of memory, observation, reflection, and planning as well as a full architecture and human-generated condition. This approach allowed a comparison of the various architectures and established a baseline of human performance. Human evaluators were required to be fluent English speakers, over 18 years old, and based in the U.S., they were recruited via Prolific, an online platform for study participants. The evaluation of generative agents in Smallville involves a two-stage process— an individual assessment of agent responses, and an end-to-end -end analysis of the agent community. The focus is on whether agents can appropriately retrieve past experiences, generate plans, react to events, and reflect on their performance. This is measured by conducting interviews with the agents, with questions designed to probe their capabilities in these areas. Believability of behavior is a key measure of success. The interviews comprise five question categories. Self-knowledge, memory, plans, reactions, and reflections.
Evaluation was conducted after two simulated game days to give agents enough experience to shape their responses. Human evaluators, recruited to watch replays of an agent's life in Smallville, ranked the believability of responses from different agent architectures and a human author condition for the same agent. Conditions included three ablated architectures that limited agents' access to certain types of memory, observation, reflection, and planning, as well as a full architecture and human-generated condition. This approach allowed a comparison of the various architectures and established a baseline of human performance. Human evaluators were required to be fluent English speakers, over 18 years old, and based in the U.S., they were recruited via Prolific, an online platform for study participants. In an extended simulation involving 25 agents, the scientists observed emergent social behaviors including information diffusion, relationship formation, and agent coordination. By the end of two simulated days, the number of agents who knew about two key events, Sam's mayoral candidacy and Isabella's party, increased significantly. Agents also coordinated for Isabella's party, with five out of twelve invited agents attending. However, the believability of generative agents fell short in areas like memory synthesis, understanding of proper behavior, and over-politeness caused by instruction tuning. Agents sometimes chose less typical locations for their actions and misclassified the appropriate behavior in certain situations due to unclear norms. Additionally, the dialogue often felt overly formal, and the agents were overly cooperative, rarely saying no even when suggestions didn't align with their interests. Future research could focus on improving these aspects. Generative agents have wide applications beyond our simulation. They can populate online forums, perform behaviors in virtual reality metaverses, and potentially act as social robots. They can be used to simulate human behavior for testing social systems, theories, and creating interactive experiences. They also have value in the human-centered design process. A generative agent could model a user's daily routines and interactions, acting as a proxy. By learning behaviors and responses, the agent can aid in personalized tasks, enabling a deeper understanding of user needs and creating more personalized technology experiences. The paper introduces generative agents, suggesting enhancements to improve retrieval and cost-effectiveness. Future research should involve extended studies for comprehensive understanding of the agent's capabilities. Value alignment is necessary to mitigate potential biases of language models. Data gaps may cause believable behavior generation issues for marginalized populations. Future work should address robustness issues like prompt hacking, memory hacking, and hallucination. Generative agents, while promising, raise ethical concerns including inappropriate user attachment, error impacts, misinformation propagation, and over-reliance displacing human roles. Mitigation strategies involve clear disclosure of agents' computational nature, robust error management, maintaining audit logs for malicious use detection, and ensuring they complement, not replace, human input. These measures aim to ensure ethical, responsible deployment of generative agents. The study introduces generative agents, interactive computational entities that mimic human behavior with a unique architecture for self-learning and context-aware actions. These agents were tested as non-player characters in a simulation game, showing promising results in generating believable behavior. Looking ahead, generative agents have broad applications, from design tools and social systems to immersive environments.